Okay, well, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of um, recent surgery I've had and the lead up to it. So I think I must be a bit unlucky to be perfectly honest. Yeah, the hip replacement last year and then uh, getting back into fitness and doing my usual stuff was on a motocross bike and uh, and fell off. So I'd actually, I was riding with some friends in, in Dubai in the dunes and uh, on a trail hit about 30 mile an hour, hit a rock and <laughs> so just didn't see it. Anyway, um, pretty painful. When I did it, I knew I went white and I could feel that I was um, a little bit of shock. So I managed to get um, back to the place where we were on the back of a quad and then a pickup. And I went home and just thought, ah, okay, I've hurt my shoulder, I'll see how it is. <clears throat> Main concern thinking, you know, I hope it's not broken. But didn't have any sleep all night and, you know, woke up about five in the morning, in fact, not sleeping. And I thought, okay, I'm going to pop and see the doctor which I did, and um, I, I went to see, oh, I went to the American hospital in Dubai and seen the doc there, and he x-rayed it and told me, you know, nothing broken, just stretched the ligament, so I got myself a sling, carried on um, for the rest of the time in Dubai, and then came back to Bangkok. I was in a bit of pain with it, to be honest, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll just I'll push through, I don't like taking painkillers or briefing, and just let my body heal naturally and I went to see the acupuncturist at Bangkok Hospital and he told me yep it's okay just stretch ligaments nothing snapped nothing really damaged so I carried on but after about three weeks I thought hey I can't move my shoulder that much and it's um it's a bit sore than I expect it should be starting to get better so I went to see Dr. Panya at Bomengrad Hospital and he, he said to me uh, I just walked straight in he said put your arms by your side so I did and he said right okay can you lift your arm up? Well, you can say I can lift that one. Oh, this one, I couldn't. I can only got limited movement now, actually. And we're nearly uh, three months after the surgery. So it just straight away said you've snapped, uh, you snapped your uh, rotator cuff uh, tendon. So it's, okay, it's a bit of a shock. So he said, well, okay, I'm going to get you in for um, an MRI scan. So popped down for the MRI scan and then went back to see him a day later. And he said, yep, you've, um, you've, snapped three out of the four uh, tendons. Uh, the only one I hadn't snapped was teres minor, I think infraspinata, supraspinatus and subscapula. So apparently I've done a pretty good job on them. Um, what I'll do when I've got a bit more time, I'll go through a little bit more detail of, of what happened with the surgery and the recovery. Okay, thanks very much. So after seeing the doc, he, you know, he said, well, um, I think we need to get you back in. And he said, how about next week? And I think he could see by the look on my face, I was in a bit of pain. So he said, okay, don't worry, I'll do it on Sunday. Anyway, so Sunday comes around and uh, I checked into the hospital and I went down for surgery about one o'clock. And um, all fine, I, you know, I thought I was going to be a few hours. He told me usually it's 45 minutes for every tendon that he's got to reattach. I don't know what time it was when I came round, but geez, I was in pain. And considering I'd had a hip replacement done last year, and after two hours, two hours after the op, I was back in the room talking to my wife and kids. Uh, this time I was like, this hurts. And I just said to the nurse, can I have more morphine, please? Anyway, um, I stayed down in the recovery room. They, they were monitoring me. And I think I eventually got back up to the room about nine o'clock, and I still severely in pain I can safely say this is possibly the worst injury I've ever had um, my wife saw me and she said geez I'm gonna stay overnight you look shocking which is real reassurance you know when you're, when you're in a bit of pain and it was pretty tough because I couldn't move they had my arm supported with pillows and the bed was at an angle and whichever way I moved I was in pain so didn't get a lot of sleep that night and I saw the doc the next day and he said, yep, yeah, there's no wonder you're in a bit of pain because you ruptured the tendons. And he had a real job reattaching, certainly the subscapula. Every time he tried to stick the suture in, it was pulling out. So it took him five hours to fix everything. And he said, you know, I was lucky because he only played nine hours of golf that morning because he knew my shoulder was in a bit of a mess and he was going to have a bit of a job. So, you know, I got back up to the room, I stayed in the hospital, I was in there a couple of days and 
uh, eventually was allowed to go out once they'd got a sling in the sling with the support that would keep it in position. I uh, just thought I'd give you, I say, the intro to what's going on, and I'll tell you a little bit more about you know my recovery and how it's going because it, it has been pretty slow and it's been pretty tough. And uh, for any, I won't be saying injury on anybody, injury on, on anyone in the world, but if you have got it, uh, expect a tough time ahead.